down in the comment section below how many shins you have bruised because of that do stupid heavy door that just keeps banging your shin over and over hey guys welcome back to the channel today we have an informative video for you guys for those of you guys who are new to the g35 community a spectrum and want to know a little bit more about the g35 maybe you're interested in buying one in the future or maybe you have one and you uh, you just bought one and you want to know some of the things that you should look for with that being said today we're going to be reviewing and going over the top three most common problems with the G35. Now, if you're new to the channel, I do content on building my own G35 and the progress and just recording all that. And I also try to do informative videos just like this. So if you want to stay tuned, click that subscribe button down below. I would really appreciate it. But besides that, let's get on with the video. Now, quickly, here's very, very, very shortly. Before I begin naming the top three most common problems, I want you to go down to the comment section right now. I'm gonna give you a little bit of time. Go down to the comment section below. Tell me if you own a G35. Let me know what was your first problem. I wanna know, curious. I wanna see if in reality, these are the top three most common problems. I wanna know. So first two problems that you ever had with the G35. With that being said, guys, let's get on with today's video. Two of our most common problems are gonna have to do with the engine bay, and one of them is not. And we're gonna talk about that but let's start off with number one on the list. Now you guys are all probably familiar with this problem. The G35 consumes a lot of oil. Now this might seem a little hypocritical of me or kind of contradictory in some way, but to be honest with you, I have not had any oil consumption problems yet. Even with my previous G35, my automatic G35, the golden one, I've never had any major consumption problems. We have yet to find out for this G35, but till right now, we're gonna check the oil right now. No, it's actually hot. We can't check the oil right now. We gotta wait till it cools down, but I haven't had a problem with this G35 yet, but these cars, all you hear, oil consumption, oil consumption. It's probably the most common problem for this car, but I have, I myself have not had that problem yet, which is kinda, kinda ironic, right? Anyways, with that being said, let's go ahead and pop the hood open. Like I said, I don't have any experience burning a lot of oil in my G35. If anything, I'd probably pour it a little bit, like maybe a, a quarter of a quart in like the whole time span that I rotate my oil. I try to rotate my oil every 4,000 miles. So every 4,000 miles, I would maybe put like a quarter of a quart like inside to keep it normal level. But I've never had a crazy, I've heard people who put like a full quarter, a full quart, a full quart like every cycle. Like it's, it's ridiculous, right? So for those of you guys who are actually having oil consumption problems, go down in the comment section below so other people can hear about your experiences and, and hopefully learn from them. Let them know if you're having oil consumption problems and how often you have to top it off or how much do you actually have to put on, like maybe a quart. Uh, two quarts that, that's a little crazy but maybe there's someone out there but go down in the comment section below how much oil does your g35 consume now it's very important that you want to keep your oil level at an at a good level you know you already know how to check the oil stick right the reason why if these burn a lot of oil and for some reason the oil is very low and you just don't check it right because either you forget or you're lazy or one thing or another and you go out with your g35 i know you're gonna want to pull this thing even though it's not the fastest car, but you're still gonna wanna pull it. It's a lot of fun. And if you do all that crazy stuff and it's running low on engine, you can really, really risk damaging your engine and possibly, possibly killing it. And by killing it, I mean blowing out your motor, right? Very, very important in these G35s. It's almost like a weekly doctor checkup. Check your oil consumption, get that dipstick, check that the oil's fine. So problem number one, oil consumption. Check your oil level regularly. Don't commit that mistake and let's move on on to common problem number two that I believe is, is pretty common in these cars. I see it a lot frequently and a lot of my friends have changed them. That is the lower front control arms. Now, let me show you. Now, it's really difficult to see right now, so let me lift up my car a little bit. All right, there's the lower control arm, literally that silver bar right here. It, it's like in the middle, it has a bushing and it's attached in the middle of like two, let me better explain that. All right, so here is the, is the that black frame or the black bar and the control arm is supposed to be right smacking in the middle. Imagine it like a, like a toothpick that goes across and the bushing, it's holding on to the, 
to the bar right there going across. This control arm has to be right in the middle. Obviously, as time goes on and you use your cars and you do sharp turns and you do all this, maybe you camber your car or do anything like that, it's gonna take a toll on this control arm. And if you look under, it sometimes it'll tend to lean like this and sometimes it's like touching the, the black frame and it's just all the way leaning towards it, which means it's completely out. And sometimes you could even see the bushing pop out of the control arm. If you guys are driving and you're taking turns and you hear like squeaking or you hear like a metal clashing or something in th that sort of pathway, then that could mean that your control arms are blown out and you need to replace them so that you can have a brand new suspension component. Now, you can't really see from this angle because it's from the side, but my control arms are starting to lean to the left, which means we will have to replace them soon. I replaced them on my yellow G, uh, and now I will have to do the same to this car. If you are interested in replacing the control arms, I already made a video, it's right here, and I might attach the link to the video down in the description below if you're interested in switching them out. Uh, but they're very simple. I got some control arms from Amazon from the brand Moog. It's like M-O-O-G. Uh, they were about $100 for both, I believe. And uh, they've been working great. I know you can buy better brands, but this ones have been working great for me. And uh, and yeah, they were pretty simple to replace. I replaced them with my friend. Go watch the video. It'll be helpful, I promise. So now we got two problems out of the way. We got oil consumption, which you can check for free. You ain't got to do nothing. Just check your oil and top it off. And do regular oil changes, right? but that's maintenance, that's another video. Uh, and then problem number two, control arms, they're about 100 bucks for both, or maybe $200 max, uh, and you can switch them out yourself. They're very simple to do, uh, it just takes a little bit of time, and you're good to go, right? And uh, you already knocked out two of the most common problems, and you don't even gotta worry about them, at least for a long time, right? All right, so let's talk about the most common problem, number three, which can be a little hassle if you do encounter this problem and it's not a problem that you want to have um but it happens it happens the third problem that happens here has to do again with the engine bay i know you guys hate the engine bay man i know it can be quite daunting all these hoses cables bolts like what do i do with this you know it can be quite scary but the problem is are these valve covers let me all right these valve covers right now they're super dusty i need to clean my engine bay but these valve covers right here these black covers right here they're literally covers before i even try to explain to you guys how to remove it which it's not going to happen in a video like you need a whole full length video which i already made if you want to go check it out right here down below link down in the description like i said they're old cars so with time they wear out and in this case it's not really the cover that's the problem like some may crack but it's not really the cracking that's the problem it's the gasket that goes around the valve cover or the gasket the o seal gasket that actually uh, pre um, prevents oil from going into your spark plug tube okay so let me explain that a little better i'm not too much of a mechanic or engine genius but in this valve cover, like I said, you have your coil, you have your coil, and then you have your spark plug in there. You know, you put your, you bolt your spark plug in there, and then this coil, I think, gives it, gives the spark plug, like, that, that ignition, that fire, that spark that it needs. But uh, sometimes, and, and inside of there, there's a little O-ring o seal that prevents oil from inside the cover to come out and get in that tube, right? Because if you get oil inside that tube, it's going to start messing up your spark plugs and that's when you can start having misfire uh, problems. So if your car is like shutting off or is not functioning properly, or if you're driving and then all of a sudden it like feels weird, uh, it's probably misfiring and one of the common problems with misfire is having oil inside that that spark plug tube that I just mentioned right now. It happened to me in my previous G35, the yellow one. I was driving and all of a sudden like shut off and then like it kept going like with gas. It was a kind of weird moment that it happened. But when it did, I realized I started researching. It was misfiring. I was checking my spark plugs just to see what it could be. Little do you know, uh, I think three spark plug tubes were filled with oil, not to the top, 
but it did have oil. You want to have zero oil in there, not a little bit, not zero oil. So some of the three spark tubes did indeed have oil and the spark plugs were all, you know, covered in oil. So that was my problem. So I did have to switch out the valve cover and get new spark plugs. And I also replaced the coil packs. Now, if you encounter this issue, it can be a little bit of expensive. The valve covers can be around like, like $400, $500 if you get them OEM from the dealership or anything like that. Plus you gotta buy your coil packs. Then you gotta buy your spark plugs, which can be like $80 to $100. And if you don't want to do the hassle of doing it yourself, you do have to pay somebody else, which can be quite expensive because as you can see in the vid, you want to see how to remove it. I showed in the video, but basically you have to remove this whole plenum, the upper plenum, the lower plenum, and then from there you got to remove all these coil packs, all these hoses, your air intake, then you got to remove all these sensors and the wiring harness has to re be removed or like taken out of the way so it doesn't get in your way. Then you got to remove all these bolts. You got to buy new gaskets, do the RTV seal. It's just a lot of stuff that you have to do. So that right there about covers the top three most common problems with the G35 that you guys should probably look forward to. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say like look forward to like be happy about it, but things you should consider replacing now maybe if they don't need it then like don't need it but things you might have to replace in the near future or if you're buying a g35 or like currently looking at g35s look for those control arms see if uh if they're busted if they're busted you might be able to discount the the price look at the valve covers if they have oil around the valve covers could be a bad sign so now i am gonna mention maybe like two special honor mentions that are kind of minor and do happen kind of frequently common problem that happens with the g35 oh sorry is that right there the fuel gauge the fuel gauge sensor probably the most common problem honestly this is most com more common than the than the oil consumption i should have put this i just didn't think it was that big of an issue it's the door hinges but you see she's kind of ass you know down in the comment section below how many shins you have bruised because of that dude stupid heavy door that just keeps banging your shin over and over but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll catch you guys next video i am on like my 15th day waking up at four in the morning i'll catch you guys next video stay safe out there please stay safe out there catch you guys next video peace